Hi friends, welcome back. So today we'll continue with the polar plot. So last time I gave you two homeworks. I think you people have done that. If you have any doubt, you can share on the Facebook. So dear friends, uh, last time I gave you one problem having two poles. The problem was, uh, this is g of s h of s equal to s plus 1 s plus 2. Okay, if you have done this, the plot of this was like, like this. Okay, so, so see, this pole or this plot is cutting this axis, means it's cutting at minus 90 degree, isn't it? Minus 90 degree, your plot is cutting. So, at this minus 90 degree, you can easily find out the value of omega. Can you find out or not? Tell me. For this particular, if you find out the, the face of this, it will be minus 10 inverse omega, minus 10 inverse omega by 2. This is the uh, uh, face of the system. So, according to this, if you want to find out or in the question, if they want to find out what is the omega value at minus 90 degree centigrade, uh, sorry, degree, the uh, angle we are talking about. So, what you will do, you will compare this with minus 90, like this, 10 inverse omega minus 10 inverse omega by 2. So, here whatever the value you will get, that is over here you will get omega equal to root 2 radian per second actually. So, this is the frequency when, when your phase is minus 90 degree. Okay. So, you can find out this, this is the, or uh, in the question they can ask, find out the intersection with the imaginary axis. So, where the plot is, uh, you know, intersecting the imaginary axis, at this point only. So, what you have to do, if they ask the intersection point, so you have to clearly, you know, observe this, at intersection, the angle will be minus 90 degree. So, you have to equate the phase equation of the question with minus 90. At that point, you will get omega. That omega is nothing but your frequency corresponding to minus 90 degree. Isn't it? So, this is the, you can do like this. Similarly, if you will draw for the, you know, third order system or the having pole, three finite poles like this. Now, in this, you can find out two things. One is intersection with the imaginary axis uh, and this is the intersection with the real axis. Isn't it? So, what you will do in this case, you will equate this with minus 180 degree and whatever the omega value you will get that is corresponding to intersection point. Is it clear to you? If you want the direct formulas, I can provide you, but I think better to go with this because you have to remember four formulas. It will be very tedious to remember. So, better in the examination if they'll ask you have to do by this approach. Okay. Now, last time we have seen if you let the finite poles, what you will get? Your plot of the system will be change the ending direction by minus 90 degree clockwise. Isn't it? Now, today class, we have to see the first question is remain as it is. This is the first question we have taken for the polar plot. Okay. And then, we added finite poles into the system, isn't it? First we took another one, then we took two, uh, two poles, total three poles. Now I'll add the poles at origin. I'll see the effect of this pole at origin. Okay. This is again you have a question. So let's convert this into j omega first. It will be j omega and j omega plus 1, this is your question, find out the magnitude, I'll represent magnitude by m, okay, so the magnitude will be omega, omega square plus 1, and let's find out phi also, phi I will denote by this phi, so phi this will be minus 90 minus 10 inverse omega, am I correct? Now, now after this, what you will do, you will find out m0 and m infinity. m0 is 
put the omega equal to 0 in this equation, we will get infinity. Find out m infinity, m infinity you will get 0. Okay. So, condition, condition is fulfilled that this should be equal to the magnitude at omega equal to 0 should be greater than magnitude at omega equal to infinity. Then only the polar plot will valid. Now let's come to this. Find out phi is 0. Phi is 0. Put omega equal to 0 in the equation. This is minus 90. Okay. Let's find out phi infinity. Put infinity at c over here omega equal to infinity you will get uh, minus 5 by 2 minus 5 minus 180. So, this is minus 180 you are getting. So, this information you have. Now, you have to find out two more information and that is the ending direction and starting direction. So, ending direction how you will say phi 0 minus phi infinity first you will find out if this is plus then it's clockwise. If this is a negative, then it is an anti-clockwise, isn't it? So phi zero minus phi infinity. This is minus ninety minus one eighty degree. So this is minus ninety plus one eighty degree. So you are getting plus. Means your ending direction will be clockwise. Now what about starting direction? Starting direction is always given by finite poles are zeros but in this question you do not have finite poles near to the omega uh, uh, imaginary axis instead of that you have one one pole at origin so here i cannot find out the starting direction okay what i say see i'm telling you if you do not have this then you can easily find out the starting direction by looking to the finite pole. But in this case, you do not have the finite pole. Why? Because you have one, definitely you have one finite pole. But for the starting direction I am talking about, we are dealing for the starting direction and in this, we are getting one pole at origin also. One pole at origin. Now, one finite pole you have S plus 1, that is minus 1 over here, no problem at all. But now, this one, this one is irrelevant now. Why? Because of this. And once you are getting one pole at origin or zero at origin, everything will be irrelevant and we cannot give the starting direction. So, for this, I cannot give the starting direction. Okay. So, what will be the starting direction then? I cannot give. So, in this, you know, only poles are there. Only poles are there. So, what we will consider practically for our analysis. In actuality, we cannot give, but we can consider because all poles are given. No zeros are given. There is a no contradiction between this. So, it will be clockwise because all are the poles. Okay. So, later I will tell you where this confliction will become. So, it will be clear to you. Though we have all poles, so definitely you will get the clockwise direction. Now, you have all idea. Now, you have to draw the plot. I told you earlier, if you are going to start your journey, start your journey from omega equal to 0. And uh, you have to end your journey at omega equal to infinity. So, omega equal to 0, you have to start your journey. So, corresponding to omega equal to 0, what we will see, we will see the magnitude. What is the magnitude? Where is the magnitude? The magnitude is infinity. Infinity. So, at omega equal to 0, magnitude is infinity and omega equal to infinity, magnitude is 0. Now, infinity, we, we can have four condition. You, you can have over here, over here or here or here, but at which infinity I will start my journey. This omega is not specified that on this axis, this axis, this axis, anywhere this omega can be. This infinity can be four possible condition, but where you have to start? So, for that you need the phase angle and zero you need, not at infinity. 
if you are talking about the zero so you need zero so at zero this is minus 90 degree where is the minus 90 degree here is the minus 90 degree now from omega equal to zero you will start your journey and you will at your end your journey at zero and angle of that is minus 180 degree so here this line denotes minus 180 degree so it will become like this it's ending ending means just parallel at, at the ending point this axis and your po you plot both will be in parallel that's why we are saying it's ending to the minus 180 degree now you can see the starting direction what is the starting direction clockwise yes definitely it's clockwise the starting direction what is the end ending direction here is the ending direction this is also clockwise this is also clockwise so both are clockwise and this is your graph now clearly observe this graph let's come to this so this is the first one we have seen and for this the graph or the plot was like this isn't it this was the plot once you add one finite pole so it was like this correct you are changing your ending direction the ending direction is shifted by 90 degree angle this is ending direction this ending direction is separate. Now, if you will add this, how your system is coming like this? Your plot is coming like this. Your plot is coming like this. We have seen this, isn't it? In this, see. This is the plot. Your plot is coming like this. So, initially your, your, your plot was like this. Now, your plot, this, this entire thing is coming like this. Means, if you are adding one pole at origin, this is the pole at origin. It is shifting your entire pole by minus 90 degree. Ye bhi aisa tha. Ye bhi idhar a gaya yahan pe pura ka pura. So what is going to be? It's shifting the entire pole by minus 90 degree in clockwise direction. So for this, what will be the output? What will be the graph? Tell me. This is the plot. This plot you have to say entire plot you have to say by minus 90. So set this. So it will be like this. The entire plot is shifted by minus 90 degree. So this is your polar plots. Correct. So the conclusion is when a pole at origin this is the very important one when a pole at origin added it shifts the total plot not only the ending direction or the starting direction it shifts the total plot by minus 90 degree in clockwise direction okay friends so this is the conclusion when you will add one finite pole into the system so till now we have seen two conditions what will happen when you will add the finite poles and second is what you will what will happen when you will add the poles at origin so in the first case when you will add the finite poles into the system it will shift the ending direction by minus 90 degree but when you will add the the, the pole at origin it will shift your entire system by minus 90 degrees uh, de minus 90 degree isn't it so friends in the next class we'll discuss about what we'll add the zeros now finite zeros and zero at origin okay so this is enough for the today's class for the new updates you can subscribe please like this please comment you can find us on the facebook for the doubt solving we'll meet in the next class till then take care and bye